to debate about mulch than any other garden product. Some say five centimetres, some say ten. Some like it rough like this, others like it fine, others like a loop and mulch. It must be terrifying for a new gardener to figure out which mulch is best. Mulch should prevent evaporation from the ground. It should allow water to pass through it and not absorb it on the way before it gets to the ground. It should not cover the trunks of plants. It should help prevent wind and water erosion. It should protect plant roots from direct heat and, of course, keep away weeds. Mulch should be coarse and irregular. And as a good friend of mine says, if you walk on it and it hurts your feet, it's mulch. Now you know all that, I tell you what isn't a mulch. Soil conditioner is not a mulch. Sheep poo is not a mulch. Compost is not a mulch. Coir peat is not a mulch and nor is lawn clippings. These are all examples of good things to put under the mulch. They will improve the organic matter in the soil. Getting the soil right is key to healthy plant growth. Apply a soil improver that has a wetting agent in it. The healthier the soil, the more drought resistant your plants will be. Sandy soil, typical in WA, is very nutrient poor and does not hold water well. This is one of the best places to get the definitive answer on what is the best mulch. I'm here at Challenger Institute of Technology at Murdoch where they've been doing controlled trials on what different mulches do. And it's no surprise to me that the best performer was the coarsest mulch. Allows the water to get through but holds the moisture in the soil. Now is the time to be mulching your garden before the summer hits us hard. Look for mulch with the new Water Corporation WaterWise approved logo and Smart approved Watermark label. The key benefits of mulch are conserving moisture in the ground, preventing evaporation, suppressing weeds and protecting the soil microbes underneath the root zone.